I thought this was very interesting. I don't know what it is. Hi, I'm Bridget, and I am a reseller, and I flip things for profit on eBay and Etsy. The sale was put on by the cat rescue people from the Cat's Meow. When I went into the sale, I was trying to film, and I got a little overwhelmed. Somebody purchased this lamp by the time I was leaving. A lot of this stuff was gone by the time I was leaving. This is a neat wicker chair. Kerosene heater. It's a great old sewing machine. I ended up grabbing that purple suitcase there. I came back for it and it was still there. It was one of the only ones left so that I could haul my haul with it. A lot of those tables from the 80s, the oak tables. Nice ottoman. Cool little suitcase. Lots of pots. A little gas grill. File cabinets. little wicker stool. There's my shadow. Thank you. Lots of cat beds. I wish I would have checked out what that wooden thing was. I don't really know if that was wooden or not, but I bet it was neat. I just came in and started trying to get a lay of the land. It's hard to start filming when you want to just start looking at everything at the same time. They had so much stuff here. This is some nice studio pottery that I didn't end up picking up. But those were pretty good prices too. Nice candelabra. Someone, some woman bought those. She was checking out with those when I was leaving. I've been looking for one of these, but that one didn't seem to work. I use a wood stove a lot during the winter time to heat our house, and sometimes I need to fluff that fire. Get a little winded doing it myself with my breath. I grabbed those jute um, placemats. They were a dollar each. Lots of linens and bedding. Aprons up here. Halloween table. I saw a cool little witch down there. And Christmas stuff. Getting this fun piece of pottery to hang out in my backyard. I knew I should have brought some sort of a basket to put stuff in. I'm trying to carry stuff around while well, your filming isn't easy. There's a Pyrex bowl there. They had high prices on their Pyrex. So I went ahead and passed. A lot of corny wear. I found this cute little box of figurines. I ended up getting that boxer. I didn't even realize it had a little pup on there too until I got it home.
wooden guy was adorable. Let me know if you see anything I should have gotten. I'm still learning all the time. Learn from YouTube, watching videos. Hopefully I can teach someone out there something as well. I love that we can share information between resellers. Some Navajo pottery. I still have some that hasn't sold yet. not sure what that was. I've never heard of that brand. Very pretty face though. I thought this was very interesting. I don't know what it is. I was thinking maybe tea bags go in it. Um, it matches some pottery that I bought at Goodwill just recently. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. They had a lot of Oriental and Japanese things here. Vases and tea sets. I really do like this stuff a lot too. There's some Franciscan Desert Rose. That's very popular. I see it all the time and the value on it's gone way down unfortunately. So if that's what you're collecting, now's a great time to buy it. Escargot. Little dishes there. I don't care for escargot. Tasted like earth with garlic and wine. It's very chewy. what it is really <laughs> maybe it's for pepper and then salt goes in the little dish thinking $45 on that teapot obviously is valuable. $18 on those. That must be a collectible name there. I hadn't heard of it. There's a squished bottle. I've seen those around. Interesting. Like melted the bottle. I don't know what they use it for. Maybe a little appetizer plate or something.
That's some Fenton it looks like. I couldn't find a price on it. Interesting. Little pot, double boiler with a birdie in it. What would that be used for? Tell me if you know in the comments. I'd love to know. That vase is quite interesting. Looks like some more Fenton right there. I see the Fenton on the bottom. It's only $5. Probably should have picked that up. I couldn't make out what that vintage pottery said. $7 was probably a good price on that too. I was trying not to just buy everything I saw, although I want to, always. I have to unload stuff first, but I just always think, oh, I've got to go and see if I can just find that perfect treasure. It is almost an addiction that I have to treasure hunting, but I really need to move the inventory as well. It takes a lot of time to photograph and list items, and I am spread very thin. I have a lot going on in my life. Between my Amazon business, the Sky Spirit Jewelry, and my Moonlight Pottery business on Etsy, and my vintage selling on eBay and Etsy, I don't have time to do much, let alone keep up my house and my garden and take care of my family. But I'm going to do it all. Definitely, definitely determined. Red Wing Pottery. KitchenAid mixer, punch bowls, looks like little uh, fiesta ware, super cute, those are Pyrex, so much clear glass. Pretty little glass, blown glass wine stopper. Top to a cookie jar, sad. Lost his little body. Somebody could put that in some mixed media and use it for something, I suppose. Look at all the instant pots. Lots of instant pots. Admittedly, I put mine on a shelf for quite a while, but recently I've been making bone broth and I've been using that. It really speeds up the process. This is very cute, retro looking cookie jar and had a high price on it. I picked up a very beautiful doily tablecloth and I wish I would have picked up some more of these doilies because I just recently started watching a YouTuber that I really enjoy. Um, T. Myers is her name. I put a link down below. She upcycles clothing and uses all sorts of these linens and I want to start doing that just for my own self for fun, for a hobby, as if I have time for that. Like I said, I'm very spread thinly. I have my own jewelry business. I also have my own pottery business, my vintage selling business. I have a problem. I want to do everything. I love to make things. I'm just super inspired to do it yourself. I need to tone it down a little bit. I did end up buying this candle, by the way. These were very neat, but I wasn't going to spend $10 on them because I don't know what I could sell them for. These are something that Laura Caldwell probably would have picked up. She loves the Danish candlesticks. Laura Caldwell is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's one of my inspirations for starting my own YouTube channel with her Left Coast Revival business.
My mother collects Victorian. She would probably love that picture and glasses right there with the red dots on it. This is a sweet little vintage kitten planter. Didn't have a price on it though. <laughs> Those Christmas ornaments were plastic. Which is probably a pretty good idea since we had some beautiful old glass ones on our tree and the whole tree fell. I think the kitten knocked it over one year and I broke a whole bunch of them. It's so distressing. Some nice rolling pins there. is checking out my haul from today. All right, guys, here's my haul for today. I bought this beautiful tablecloth. It was $15 and I could always use it to upcycle things and make fun things out of it if I don't like it as a tablecloth, but I really do like it a lot as a tablecloth. I also bought these four placemats. They were a dollar each. I've been looking for these. I could buy them on Amazon, but I'm glad I only got them for four dollars. That Those are really cute and boho. Speaking of boho, I thought that this guy was kind of cool. I could either leave him terracotta color or I could paint him. He'll look fun out on my fence or somewhere in my backyard. As you may already know, I collect the Madrid pattern of the amber depression glass, but I'm also collecting the yellow because it goes well together enough. So this was $3 and the DVD was actually $2, which is kind of steep for a DVD nowadays, but I thought it'd be really neat to see this um, in Italy's countryside since I'm agoraphobic and I don't travel very far. I probably in my lifetime will never get to Italy, but I've always, I'd love, I've always wanted to, and I, I would love to see what it's like. I found this really cute little, I guess he's a boxer dog, vintage. Somebody will love him very much. I got this candle. It's world market. It's not vintage. It's obviously not vintage, but it's just cool. It goes with the boho theme that I like. And this little tiny wooden dog was so cute. I just couldn't pass him up. He was a dollar. This was a dollar. These were a dollar each. And I, they're for sconces, but I use them for, as you know, or may not know, um, in a candle holder that's meant for a taper candle. I put those in there and then I put a little tea light in there. I think they're very pretty that way. And this I bought I don't know what it is. I was thinking maybe it was an incense holder, but incense really ruins stuff when you um, burn it inside porcelain. I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. It's $5, as you can see. And what's neat is that it matches the um, vase that I got last week. It doesn't match it totally, but it has the same... Um, textured little flowers that they're both made in Japan and I just think they're very darling this skirt I bought I will probably never wear it like that but I thought to upcycle it into something else fun clothing wise I don't know it's just too short for me but you know my daughter might like it because she's really going through this like fun boho stage herself right now being almost 17 and this, I thought, was really neat. Um, I paid $5 for it, and I see them for sale for anywhere from $120, but they're, the sold comps were like $30. But I didn't know about this artist, and I thought it was really neat that they had this on the back of the picture, and I may sell it, or I may just end up hanging it up because it's very neat. And lastly, I got suitcase for three dollars 
there's a little price tag up there. And I got it for two reasons. The easy reason was just so that I could use it as a bag to take it to my car from the yard sale. But also because, we, as I told you just a few minutes ago, I am agoraphobic. And I have a small window, a small bubble that I can go travel to. I haven't been outside the state since 2015, I think, until just recently, I finally crossed the border from Oregon to Washington. And that was a milestone for me, even though it's just really like 25 minutes away from where I live. But I really want to make it to California this, this September. I'm hoping that the wildfires don't make it so I can't, but I want to take a road trip um, down the highway coast 101 to San Francisco. So anyway, that's what that seat, suitcase is for as well. As, so that's my haul, except for this guy right here for today. I hope you enjoyed this and liked my video. And if you do like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it very much and leave any comments in the comments below. I would love to know if I missed something of great value at the yard sale. Thank you.